What internet marketing expert should you spend your valuable time listening to? Listen to someone who has over 20 years of web marketing experience and hundreds of website marketing success stories. That man is Aaron Sparks from Site Strategics. And this is Edge of the Web Radio. I let off this show with a bit of a scared tactic. I mean, and, and, and probably connecting to a few if not many individuals out in the audience that have tried to search for their own services and not found not finding their own company. Well, we have an article from uh, Search Engine Journal by uh, Jason uh, Demers uh, that we really wanted to sh- bring to delight here. It's the it, they talk about three steps w- to take whenever you suspect that you're under an algorithmic penalty, and what that means is basically Google changes how it looks at websites all the time, and they're constantly improving and looking at. Uh, what's spam out there, what's good value out there, and what they want to do is bring better sites to the to the view of its consumers, who are the searchers on, on their search engines all the time. So we've been privy to years of uh, changes in their algorithm, their measurement of how they index one site as opposed to the other. But um, we have seen some relatively big penalties hit. And we actually have a regular business now of companies that are asking us to to kind of clean up what happened to them from other companies. Uh, it, it fills me with disgust. It truly does. Whenever I see a company, we're dealing with a company out of Michigan right now, uh, that, got, that hired a company in California to get them good links. Oh. They they built like thousand links wow. one month for this co- for for our client. They subsequently didn't continue to work for them, and right at the point in time was February of 2012. And in April of 2012, there was a huge penalty called Penguin, and they went down in flames. Literally, they were de-indexed by Google. And uh, you know the the fact of the matter is they didn't know until way later. Of, of of where they were and in fact it even came they didn't know what was going on and I right. had to show them this is this is a very unnatural build of links all the junk link that was out there so we actually have to clean up their mess on a well, regular basis and a, and a lot of times you worked with an SEO company maybe two years ago right and they left a mess that now the algorithms have advanced enough that they're You're that stable. they're killing you you know right. and you don't you just don't realize it unless you talk to you know the 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 kind of tools that that Aaron's talking about that are incredible that that they have at their hands are they can look at not your site and your analytics you know they can look at webmasters data which yep. of course is that but they can also look at external sites that are tracking keywords backlinks uh the quality of those backlinks the relevance of those backlinks right. you know uh, stuff like that that you were talking about like placing a thousand links out there well we our our competitor has two thousand links and we only have 800 so we got to put 1200 links out there it's not about numbers you're no. crazy because yep. now Google's going to see a spike in backlinks, yep. and they're going to instantly just throw you off the index. No, exactly. They're going to bury you. The, this is not the work of of competent SEO professionals. Right. And there are a bunch of good SEO companies, even in Indianapolis. We, we, we highly recommend them. And a lot of times when we can't do work for somebody, and we have a, a, a kind of a mandate inside of our company, and whenever we're doing work for a particular type of company in industry, we no longer can do work for the, another company in the same industry. It's right. just, it's part of what I've insisted on is that we are the partner for them in that particular vertical market. There's, Aaron, I, I, you know, we pass on work. You know yep. that there's only like three companies that we respect here locally, <laughs> and and believe me, yep. there's there's dozens doing it, and then there's dozens more that say they're doing it right. because it's it's the soup of the day. Yeah. Oh yeah, every it's web dangerous. every web firm says that they do SEO, but you know what? Uh, call them to 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 the task, you know, evaluate their methodologies of 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 optimization, of social media, of local SEO, full uh, transparency, full transparency they in their tell reporting, you everything that absolutely. they're doing, absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, you know what? We got to the point here of actually talking about what to do whenever you're under a penalty. But uh, let's do it. <laughs> let's keep talking. Next one. Yep. So anyway, we were talking about sites being 
under a potential penalty. And, uh, you know, the algorithms of Google are such that um, you may actually be under something under a penalty from Google if you had either thin content or some real, a good deal of links that were not good in, right. in a sense of quality links coming to your website. Or you know, if you've had a lot of spam issues in the past, you may have been docked. Uh, Google penalize, penalties typically fall under those these two different categories. Either it's a manual penalty penalty. Manuals or manual penalties are usually easier to identify because they are often accompanied by a message from Google, by inside of Google Webmasters Tools. First rule of thumb, if you don't know what Google Webmasters Tools is, there is go, just go to google.com forward slash webmasters and you'll be able to be able to see uh, and log into your site and be able to see how Google actually sees your website. And there's there's problems with every website, give or take, but um, that's your first indicator of whether or not Google's looking at you negatively, yeah, right. right? The second type is an algorithmic penalty, and this happens naturally as Google updates its algorithms, a small change or a series of changes, that can actually create an automatic penalty that will cause your site to ju suddenly drop out of the search listings. And uh, the, the recent ones have been Google Penguin or Google Panda. Those are different code names for the changes that Google went through over the last couple of years. Um, it's fairly easy to discover whether you have an actual algorithmic or manual penalty as long as you have a Google Webmaster's Tools account. Account. Right. Simply log in and check the manual actions section under the search traffic. And, if you, and they're being really good on that, yes, too. Yes, they are. We have a, a lot better than they used to be. We have a uh, client that uh, migrated their site and left a forum kind of out there mm -hmm. on an old domain. Sure. And the forum started to get spammers. Right. Um, and there was a message in their webmasters that said, we're detecting a lot of spam links you know, from your thing. Right. And, um, and you need to take action. You right. Know? They didn't say you're penalized or anything, but you know they are. Yeah. You know, and uh, but it's a but, polite way of saying. But it was nice that the the I mean, once upon a time, right? We didn't have warnings. No. You know, so now they're they're being proactive about telling someone, and and they 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 still leave it vague because they want the cheaters to have to work. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's also why they've now hidden all the uh, keyword data, yeah. according to Google, is that they don't want to share successful terms with with people that are going to exploit those. They want to right. see they want to see organic buildup of content without guidance factors of hey, you were found here on these particular keywords. Yep. So um, you can see these alerts of these penalties now. The easiest way to figure out if it's a, if an algorithm is actually affecting your website is look up. At your analytics data, you know, drops in organic search traffic that correspond with the known algorithm updates are fairly clear indication. In fact, there's actually one uh, uh, site out there called Penguin. It's from Barracuda. Look it up. And it actually, if you've got a Google Analytics account, you can actually just link that. It actually gives an entire chronology or a timeline of every different penalty. Oh, yeah, I saw that. And it will overlap your year of traffic that you've been accru accruing inside of your website from Google Analytics. And you can, uh, I, 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 I can't tell you how many times I've seen sheer cliff drops of organic traffic, right? When there has been known dates of update, Yep. you know, it's just it's very demonstrable right there. Okay. We got hit there. We got hit there. And you know, sometimes you just can't come back from that. And, and, and sometimes they do it by accident, right? Yep. Some companies have been caught up in it and, and through webmasters, you know, if you're an SEO professional, you can go in there and explain, you can say, Hey, we've done this, 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 right. this, and this. Why, why are we, you know, getting hit here? And, and they'll, they'll go, oops, and rebound you. That's right. That's right. So what's the correct antidote here? You know, uh, once you've identified which type of penalty that you have, you can actually take the next steps. Manual penalties will include a message within Google Webmasters Tools that notify, notifies you of action that was taken and why. Uh, the manual penalties, penalties are often a result of manipulative link building. We, we were talking about that earlier today. And in these cases, you, you need to remove any as many links as possible. Now, how do you go remove links? You go to the sites that are linking to you and yeah. ask them to remove you. We have also seen that there's now an extortion environment going on. They, 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 the, the worm is turned, so to yeah. speak where people were actually gaming the system with multiple, multiple sites, multiple links, you are now being offered up, hey, we'll take you off our website if you pay us $5. Ugh. Un- 
unspeakable. It's disgusting. Yeah, you can disavow those guys, though. Yes, you do. And, and that's the other part of this equation. If you've narrowed it down to what links are actually causing you problems, you can actually go to Google and basically disavow your links. And, and that's another one that don't, don't do that by yourself. No. Hire a professional because um, here's the problem is, let's say you say, I'm going to disavow these 40 links. Mm-hmm. 30 of them might be great links that were actually working for you. And so talking to an SEO professional and getting them to evaluate every single link is, is just critical. You know, the disavow process, it's not terribly complicated, but you need to audit your list before you just, you just don't plunk a list of every one of your links because guess what you do? You're killing all the good juice that's yeah. being passed to your website. So you got to pay attention. You got to preen through the list. And sometimes it's a needle in a haystack. Yeah. It's literally, it can literally be one link that's hurting your site. That's right. That's right. And unfortunately the case is, is that if you don't know the links that are in, that are connecting to you, you don't know who's harming you. So you need to contact an SEO professional. If not us, contact somebody that can run run a list of all of the links as well as the levels of different toxicity and suspicious nature of these links. That's what's important and that's what you need to have a look at and have somebody disavow for you but have a strategy behind it. 